What's up YouTube, my Buddha Marcus here. Figure I'd give you guys another update on the Red Terror Pair for those who have been watching uh, their progress in action. There's been a lot that has gone on the in the last two to three weeks. Um, this male was up for sale two uh, weeks ago. I was fed up with him and his bad attitude. I had uh, gone out of my way to raise this Red Terror Pair and introduce them at different intervals to see if they would get along and interact and uh, it was not proving very, very successful, and I was very, very frustrated with this guy, and uh, I was ready to get rid of him and call it a day and use this 135-gallon uh, tank, uh, you know, to dedicate to some other species that basically deserved it. But needless to say, his attitude changed, and uh, he was able to then interact on a different level with the female, who's all nicely colored up. And from that change in interaction you can see there's a lot of baby red terror fry in this aquarium loads of it I've never had a batch this big and uh, this was the ultimate uh, goal you know when you're keeping large central and South American cichlids you know sometimes uh, breeding them can be very difficult as the male is kind of feeling out the female right now um, but he's probably a little more uh, revved up because I'm uh, in the room but as you can see, there's just a cloud of fry, which is awesome. But basically, in my last update video, the female had basically taken refuge in this flower pot, laid a bunch of eggs, and I just wasn't a hundred percent sure if uh, you know, you know, this fry hatch rate would have even turned out to be successful, considering it was pretty much their first real spawn. They had a a very small initial spawn when I introduced them for a brief moment together maybe about you know three four months ago but I only got like 10 fry out of that so I don't count that as uh, their first real attempt um, but th that said you know uh, she had basically moved the eggs um, and the fry once they hatched to the other side of the aquarium piled them up in a little pile and then within a day or two, I didn't see them anymore. So I assumed that she probably ate the babies. Uh, but then a few days later, I came downstairs and then there was this basically horde of fry swimming around the female. So it's just, like I said, I'm documenting this and updating those who are interested because, again, it was quite a change in events. I basically didn't think this pair was capable of it. In some cases, you know, you can't pair up a certain cichlid. You know, you'll have males that will kill females. You have females that are just too aggressive. They don't want to interact with the males. And I thought this was one of those cases where it was basically, basically lost. You know, my opportunity was lost. My time and effort was gone. Uh, but to have this uh, as a byproduct of the patience of growing this pair out is just awesome. Oh, again, this was ultimately my goal. Uh, and, and again, those who are inquiring about the fry, I'm in Canada and I don't ship to the States, so it's unfortunate. And I always have to mention that in my videos because I get a lot of people asking me for my fry. Um, I'll have to sell these pretty much locally and uh, in the classified ads there. But, you know, if I could, I would send them uh, to you guys, you know, to the subscribers and everything else, no problem. Uh, but needless to say, I'm just happy with the change in events. Um, even I think I mentioned uh, or responded to a couple comments in my last video that, you know, I thought the female ate the fry. So to those guys who are watching, looking forward to this video, just stay tuned, you know. And uh, I'll keep following up with this pair and the progress of the growth of the, these baby fry in other videos to follow. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.